into my November Shoe of the Month video. I'm delighted to say I have actually managed to film this during November, unlike my October Shoe of the Month video, which I ended up also filming in November. Uh, I have moved house, those of you that have seen my previous videos or follow me on Twitter will be aware that I have been moving house and I have now moved. This is me in our new flat. I haven't got a proper kind of filming location set up yet. I'll probably eventually use our spare room once we've got all the stuff out of that. At the moment that's kind of the dumping ground for anything that hasn't got a home yet. And the camera is currently sat on two very convenient uh, boxes of clothes, which is providing very useful tripod for filming this video. So hopefully I shall be sorted soon and be able to film plenty of videos and have everything set up. But for the time being, this is just trying to get this video done during November which is the target I set myself. Uh, those of you who have seen my October Shoe of the Month video will be aware of what I'm trying to do here. This is, um, uh, this is the shoe, these shoes, sorry, every month that I'm getting from stylistpick.com. Um, as I say, if you have watched that video, you might be aware of what I'm talking about, but for those of you who haven't, I'll just give you another quick introduction. Um, Stylist Pick are a monthly subscription site. I think this is something that has actually been going on for a while in the US, I, th I think, um, but it's relatively new to the UK. I signed up last month for the first time, and basically, you, when you sign up, you fill in a style quiz, so you answer various questions and you pick sort of celebrity styles that you admire. And once you've signed up, then they will analyse the answers to your questionnaire and give you a style. I think mine's I want to say classic and elegant, which for anyone who knows me probably will laugh very loudly about now, but I like the sound of that, I think I can be classic and elegant. Um, so every month then when you log in, it, the products change on a monthly basis, so every month you log in you will see a different selection of products. I think they initially started with shoes and they do bags and jewellery and various other things as well. So you will hopefully see products that are related to your style, so hopefully things that you should like. Um, I would also add that if, if you don't, if for whatever reason one month there is nothing in your showroom that particularly appeals, you can of course browse the rest of the site and see all the other products that are on there. And the concept behind Stylist Pick is that the, the actual items, the shoes, the bags, etc., are chosen by high profile stylists. They also have now started to work with other celebrities. For instance, in December, Cheryl Cole is actually launching a range that she's designed with Stylist Pick. So I'm quite excited to see what those shoes look like. Um, but for this month, I was dithering around and I was really struggling to pick. Oh, there were two, two sets of shoes I liked, one of which was a uh, wedge ankle boot and the other was a sort of kind of faux fur interior, kind of, I would say re reminiscent of an Ugg boot but not because um, it's not fur on the outside and I was toying between which one to get which one to get, I think I even asked for ideas and, and other people's opinions in my last video and I eventually went for the practical boot, the comfortable boot, the Ugg like boot uh, which I think is actually called Riley if I remember correctly and the reason I went for this, if, if those, those of you sorry that have seen my October video that I did know the shoes that I bought were probably the most impractical shoes that I could buy, which were quite high glittery ankle boots. So I wanted to try and counteract that impractical purchase with a more practical shoe, which is hopefully what I've done. Um, I, actually, talking about the Vivian boots, I actually was out last night and um, went to explore our sort of new location, our new town, and saw a woman in a bar wearing the Vivian boots that I have, so I excitedly pointed this out to my husband who just sort of did that really. So I, I think I was with the wrong audience probably, I needed to be with some of my girlfriends. But anyway, so these are the boots I've gone for. These are the Riley boots. I, I was actually thinking I would get them in black originally and that's what I put on the kind of, you know, when I was asking people for their opinions, I, I said I would get these in black. But giving it some thought, I already have a kind of pair of sort of Ugg style boots, although they're not, again, Uggs, um, that are in black, so I thought actually brown would be a nice ch nice change. So this is what they look like, so you've got the buckle detailing on the back of the ankle. Um, and actually I have to say, looking at the bottom of these, if you can see the, the bottom, um, 
for the last couple of years we've had some pretty bad snow in the UK and we're not we're not equipped for snow in this country we're not used to it so I think these boots will be perfect if we get it again this year I think these will be brilliant for walking around in snow um, interior it's lined as I said before with this kind of faux fur lining and that is throughout so they'll also be nice and warm which is great because it is going to get quite cold they're also fairly lightweight which I appreciate because actually the, the bottom of it is more substantial but the actual rest of it is fairly lightweight so although it's warm it's also not going to you're not going to be dragging your feet along because they're heavy to wear so I'm really delighted with that it's the other boot so. so these are my second purchase from Stylist Pick equally as pleased with the first I, as I've not worn them yet because I was waiting to try and do this video and I didn't want to have to show you the bottom with them covered in mud and leaves and who knows what else so I will probably wear them later today, so I'm about to go out, so I think I shall wear them then. And also, again, you get the, the little Polaroid type sticker that you can stick on the front of the box so you know which shoes are in there. And as last month, I also got a little free gift. Last month I got a charm bracelet, sort of similar to this. Um, and this month's free gift, if I can find it, is this ring. So very nice and colourful. So it's always nice to get something for free, I think. Um, so that's it for this Shoe of the Month video. I will again, I think December's probably going to be a pretty easy choice. I definitely am quite keen to see the range that Cheryl Cole has come up with and I think I'll be very tempted to get something from her range and I have no doubt that it'll probably sell out quite quickly. So I shall be in there like a shot on the 1st of December to pick what I want. Um, so that's it for me today. As I said before, if you have any suggestions for any other videos you'd like me to do, then you know, send me a tweet on Twitter. You can follow me at the It Guide on Twitter, or put a comment in the box below. I've got clothes everywhere at the moment. Some hung up, hung up, some in drawers. Most still in boxes, waiting for me to decide what to do with them. So if you've got any particular requests to see. Um, any of the clothes I own, this is the time to do it because I, I can find everything at the moment. Um, and if you haven't seen my competition I'm running for November, which is to win a bag from Stylist Pick, then I shall put a link to this competition here and all you have to do is subscribe to my channel before the end of November and at the end of November I'm just going to pick a winner at random and they'll win the bag. So I shall put a subscribe link here. And if you would like to subscribe, that would be absolutely brilliant. And of course, you'll be in with a chance to win that bag from Stylist Pick. So I hope to see you again soon, hopefully set up with a more professional looking studio, although probably not, it'll probably just be a wall, but uh, hopefully I'll have it all set up and then I'll be able to do lots more videos. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.